Guys, um, I've I saw a thread being open about uh, help with reducing the head size for players, and this is really the simplest of tasks you can do here. So I figured I'm gonna make a quick tutorial about it, and while <laughs> while I'm at it, I'm also gonna make a thread where I'm going to be answering any any questions you might have about um, basis of modding, about uh, I mean I can basically post tutorials, these video tutorials. So if you got any questions. I'm here to help you. So, yeah, go ahead and I'm going to record everything that's within my capabilities. Anything I can show you. I'm not that great either, but, you know, I figured some stuff out like the basis. And I'm going to show you guys that. So, without further ado, we're going to reduce Michael Porter Jr.'s head size. Here we got him in the Wizards because I made a trade. I figured Denver, Denver really needs Bradley Beal. So, and yeah. So we traded for this, uh, traded him to the Nuggets for this guy, Michael Porter Jr. Um, as you can see, his head is not that big. I mean, it's a bit bigger than in real life, I'd say. But I still want to, I, like I edited his body a little. And uh, this is someone's mod. I'm not sure if anyone recognizes their work. Feel free to, I mean, this is someone's mod, pretty good. I edited the body, but the, hell, the head still seems a bit different, a bit too big. Not that bad. Seeing as 90% of 2K models have this gigantic head for some reason, but this one is not that bad. So, basically, this will be the simplest way of doing it. First, you need Blender. I'm not gonna post a tutorial how to set up Blender. There are countless of those. Uh, TG, TG So Good has one on YouTube, so check that out. So you gotta set up Blender for, for NBA 2K20 with all the plugins. I recommend using Blender 2.79 and then try 2.8. This one, if you know they, what they say, if, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So this one, <laughs> this one works great. So, oh yeah. So first, I gotta check for this guy's ID with the Limnono trainer. So there we go. It's seven seven one three. So you're gonna find his PNG. Go into your YGUA folder. So it's here. There we go, 7713, you're going to find the PNG, I already have it here, because I got a mod, but if you don't, you're going to have to extract it with the with the extractor, the export thingy, I already have, like, there are tutorials on this as well, and there's even one in my thread for my rookies, uh, there's a tutorial about lots of stuff, so check that out if you want. I'm not plugging anything in, it's not a YouTube video, it's literally just a media fire link to a video, so not trying to plug myself here. Anyways, yeah, what you're gonna need, uh, I'm gonna open a new folder. Yeah, I don't need these. Okay, so basically what you need is the model file, which is usually the biggest high head the, the biggest file with this high head prefix. The, usually, sometimes it's not. Sometimes they might have some crazy big hair, hair file, which might be bigger than this, or they might have a crazy big, uh, I don't know, whatever you, have, you can have with this. But usually it's the biggest one. You can check, though. So I'm going to drag the biggest one. Drag it here, the model file. So this is basically the model. And you're going to want the high head scene file, which sets things up nicely in the, the blender, I guess. I don't know. So I'm going to take that. So the way you can check is you're going to open this with Notepad++. Plus plus. So that's plus plus. I, I saw some guys had issues uh, opening stuff. That's because you didn't use Notepad++. Plus plus. Just use this one. Uh, so we're going to go to the high head. Okay, so all the way down. Um, not this. Uh, wait. All right. So I guess the first high head, right? High head. I'm going to search for it. No. Well... I was gonna show you how to check this, but <laughs> something's wrong. Uh, maybe it's not this one. Damn, this will be a first. Is it this one? B99? Which one does it want? Um, disregard this part. <laughs> Just take the biggest one, okay? It's gonna work in 99% of the times. I don't know why I can't... Uh, it should be somewhere here. This name of the file should be somewhere in this high head scene file, as far as I remember. Uh, 
934. Do I have a 934? Oh, yes. Oh, well, yeah, there it is. Uh, I get used to it. My videos are going to be fucked up and, uh, yeah, all over the place. So, anyways, uh, yeah, uh, we can check. So, the check was good. Here's the file, 934 is the one we copied here. And if you go in Notepad++, there it is, 93439, whatever. That, so it corresponds to the same name. That's important. So that's how we know we, we got the right file. Anyways, go to Blender. You just start with a new one. Okay, so you're going to import that. You're going to go to, there we go. So there it is. Always import the high head file, not the model file. Okay? Double click the high head, import. There it is. There's your player. So it's extremely simple to reduce his head size. Here's what we're going to do right click, you select the entire model, you go to scale, you scale it down as much as you want. As I'm going for a small, small scale, not uh, like uh, just a bit smaller, nothing too much. I'm going to go with 0.9. Eight, I don't know. Nine, eight, four. Let's go. Okay, there we go. And since, as you reduce the size of the model, everything kind of goes down. So you're gonna move it up as well. So you're gonna press G, G on your keyboard, press Z to move it on the Z axis. So now I can move it up and down, as you can see. And I'm gonna move it just a bit up to make up for, for the size he lost when I reduced the, the size. So let's go 0 point, um, 0 0.31. That should be fine. Oh no, I went with a bit less. 0 0.35, there we go. And now you want to export this. Make sure, I mean, I always do this. I don't know if it's necessary. Make sure to, to export it somewhere where that it's not going to replace any file, okay? It's the first one to get there. So, export it there. It's going to take a while, probably. Okay, no, wait. Press export. Now it's going to take a while. There we go. It's exported. It says file not found, but it's fine. So, go to that, go to that folder. God, it's a mess. There we go. Okay, so there we go. Now we have the model file that we exported. Let's just delete this one so there's no confusion. This is what we exported, the model file. Now, this is basically, if you copy this into your game or into your PNG, you're just going to get a smaller version of, like, he, he, all of uh, his entire body will be smaller. What we need to do is just take the head from here. And from this, we have a very neat tool called the Auto Shrink Wrap Tool. Also, there will be no tutorial on setting this up. You already have those, so find them. There we go. This is my auto shrink wrap tool. Delete these. So here's how we're gonna use it. Just make sure everything's empty. Yes. There we go. So here you're gonna copy the original model, the original model file, the big one. Okay, the one with the big head. You're gonna take it from the PNG. Just drag it here. There we go. Here you are going to uh, you're going to put the new smaller version the version you made smaller in the blender so there we go here's where I exported it move it here and now we just start the, the program takes a while but we can get there hmm. usually doesn't take this long okay there we go go for apply there it is everything's finished exit there we go. Boom. Exported new files. There it is. Drag that back into the PNG. And there you go. That's really all there is. The head is now smaller. There we go. Maybe not very noticeable right now because it was just a small change, but trust me, this got the head smaller. Yeah, this looks much better now, I believe. Anyways, that'll be it. Uh, when you do this with players, uh, I don't have to do it now since it was a small change, you can't really notice, but you can see his hair is kind of floating a little. So you might also want to do the same thing with the head, literally the same. You're going to take the model file, take the high head file, response to the head, literally everything the same, and you make the head 
also the same like same size as like make the head a bit uh, make the hair a bit smaller too and that there you go that's basically it so yeah um here i'm gonna i'm gonna show you how to make the hair smaller as well uh since i kept saying head instead of hair in the video so yeah the, the hair we're making the hair smaller now since it's floating a little so what you need to do is like we said same thing in folder 2 so now you need your hair scene file which is this one hair01 scene now now for this uh, mod it's it's also in the PNG but sometimes it would be in that separate uh, separate uh, IFF file a separate file for hair but here it's it's in this one. So we're gonna take the hero one scene and we're gonna check which uh, model file corresponds to it. There we go. So B992. So as long as I'm here, I'm showing you something very important now. Here, if I go down, you see all the way down, you see these high head things. This needs to look exactly like, or does not, ex but it'll just make it look like this. So usually, if it's a fresh 2K uh, fresh 2K model, if, it, if it's not modded already, these high heads are going to have some stuff written here, like LOD shape something. Delete all of those. If you don't, then your your uh, head will be the same size when you pan out, when you like go further with the camera. So so you got to delete all of these. It's got to look like this. Both in the hair, in all the hair files, in the beard files, in the body, high head scene file, everything. High heads need to look like this. All right, so we said uh, we found the, uh, shit, I forgot. We found, uh, okay, B992. So now we're gonna take B992 from here. There we go, drag it here. Now I can open the hair in Blender. There's, I bet there's a simpler way, <laughs> like a normal way of doing this, where I can have both the hair and the model imported at the same time, but this doesn't work for me for some reason. So we're gonna open the hair separately there it is. You gotta <laughs> zoom out if you want to find it. So now we're gonna make the head a bit smaller too. Just gonna go with same numbers. Scale was 0 0.98 something, 984. There we go. And then move it up by 0 0.3. There we go. Yeah. I made the hair the same, same, uh, scaled it down in the same number, moved it up by the same number as the body, and it, logically it should be in the same. Uh, it should be better now, shouldn't float. Export it to our mod folder. Now with this one, there's no fancy auto shrink crap work and stuff. You literally just copy it. That's pretty much it. Just drag it back into the PNG file. And now we're going to see the difference. Let's check out the hair now. It's kind of floating. Come back. Boom. Hair's not floating anymore. There we go. Really simple, isn't it? So, I... I uh, suggest anyone to try this. Try your try your stuff. Try try the basis of modding. It's really not that not that bad, not that hard. Um, I was like you. I was waiting for others to to do stuff, but then I figured, hey, I can just try this shit on my own, and it's pretty pretty easy, pretty fine. So there we go. Um, good luck, and yeah, bye to everyone.